thank you for visiting the Your Yoga With um, YouTube channel. I'm so happy to have you here. Today, 20 minutes focusing on our Manipura Chakra. It's the third chakra up from the bottom and sits between our belly button and our lower chest bone. But before I get ahead of myself, what are chakras? So the chakra actually means wheel and it basically refers to energy points in our bodies. So as when one energy point isn't properly balanced then the others become unbalanced and the wheel becomes thrown off. So the reason that I wanted to bring a Manipura chakra for us today is because its associations are with willpower, assertiveness, taking control, self-belief and more as well as it being physically very connected to our digestive systems which is really connected to anxiety and stress. So in general this will really help your mind and body settle and become confident and feel empowered. So this practice will include some core work, core stretches, a lot of twists to really help the digestive system and most importantly it's just going to be fun. So let's enjoy the next 20 minutes and we'll get started standing up. So standing at the top of our mats, we're going to inhale, bring our arms wide and high, and let's have a bit of a baby back bend. So we'll reach our fingertips backwards slightly, opening our heart, opening our solar plexus, reaching our chest high. You don't need to go far here. Let's exhale and come back to center. On our next exhale, let's bend to our right, Opening up those ribs, again you don't need to go far. Inhale to come back to centre. Exhale the other way, bend and turn left. Inhale to the centre. Exhale to go back. Inhale to the centre. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the centre. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the centre, exhale, forward fold. Bringing our hands down to the floor. Let's take a few breaths here. Bend your knees so that feels good. Rest your chest on your thighs. Or if you'd like, have your legs straight wherever you are. Let your head, your shoulders and your arms hang heavy. Hold on to your elbows if that feels good. And just have a sway. Opening up your back ribs. Plant our hands on the mat, bend the legs, right leg comes back, left leg meets right, coming into plank, come onto knees if that feels better. Keeping those elbows tucked, let's lower ourselves down as we exhale. Inhale to scoop chest up, coming into cobra. Really feel the front of the torso open. Tuck those toes, push back to our first downward dog. Let's walk the dog, bending our knees, seeing how our hamstrings feel. And then let's lunge our right foot between our hands to the top of the mat. Left foot to meet right, forward fold. Big inhale as we roll up, bringing arms wide and high. Exhaling to Tadasana. And let's do the other side. Inhale, arms come high, forward fold. This time our left leg comes back. Right leg meets left for plank. Keeping your elbows tucked, let's lower ourselves down as we exhale. Inhale, scoop your chest high. Breathe here. On your next exhale, tuck the toes, push back for downward dog. Lunge that left leg through in between your hands. Right foot meets left for forward fold. Slowly roll up, inhaling, bringing your arms wide and high. Exhaling back to Tadasana. Okay, from here, let's inhale, bring your arms wide and high overhead. Exhaling to forward fold. Plant your hands, bend your knees, send your right leg back and your left coming into plank. We're going to bring our knee to our nose, so our right knee comes to our nose. Curl in, exhale, plank. If you want an option, come down onto your knees and then 
pull your knee in from there. Let's do it again. Curl in. Exhale, plank. One more time. Knee to nose. Exhale, plank. So option here is to lift that right leg. Whether you do or not, let's lower ourselves down, keeping elbows tucked. Land on the floor. Cobra. Reach your chest high. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears. And let's tuck those toes. Push our tailbones high coming into downward dog and then lunge our right leg forward in between our hands and let's go for a twist so plant your left hand bring your right arm up fingertips to the ceiling belly button facing thigh if possible and look to the ceiling if that feels okay on your neck breathe here okay exhale bring your hands back down to the mat and let's do triangles so plant that left foot Sweeping arms up to a T, both legs straight. So your left toes should be facing the long edge of the mat, right toes the short edge of the mat. Bring arms to a T, and then we're going to lean that right arm towards right foot, and then make our way into triangle, bringing right hand to shin, left arm high. Try and stack the shoulders. If you want more of a stretch, then bring your bottom hands down to the ground, or if it feels okay, just hold on to your right shin or to work your core more balance. Whatever feels good, let's take a few breaths here. This is really good for our solar plexus. Okay, let's sweep hands to the mat, bend that front leg, come onto our back toes, drop the back knee, and let's come back into child's pose. Knees coming wide, toes together, settle your ribs in between your thighs, extend arms overhead and release your forehead to the mat. Let's take a few breaths here. Okay, on our next inhale, let's bring ourselves up and forward, tuck our toes, come into plank. Okay, let's do knee to nose. So, left knee to nose, curve in, push back. Again, push back, last time, pull it in, push back, hover the leg or drop it to the floor and then lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana, scoop up, cobra or upward dog, beam your chest forward. Okay, let's tuck those toes, downward dog, take a breath here. Right, let's lunge that left leg forward this time. This time we're keeping our right hand planted. Let's bring our left arm high, fingertips to ceiling. Pull that top shoulder back, really twist round. One more breath here. Okay, let's plant the hands, plant the back foot, sweep up, triangle. So, left toes forward, Right toes facing the long edge of the mat, arms at a T. Let's lean towards our front toes and come to triangle. Breathe here. Feel strong in your core. Try to make sure your belly button's facing forward. Your shoulders are stacked. One more breath. Okay, let's bend that front knee, sweep the hands to the mat. Come onto those back toes, drop that back knee. We come back to child's pose for another few breaths. Okay, let's inhale to come up to tabletop. Lunging our right leg in between the hands. Tuck those back toes coming up, making our way to warrior one. So plant that back foot and sweep your arms high. So you should feel a good opening in the hips here. Your back foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat. That can do a 45 degree angle. Arms high, tailbone top. Let's sink lower into that front leg. As you exhale, bring your arms down behind you, interlacing your lower back, pull your shoulders back, and we're coming into Humble Warrior. Let's dive forward, bringing right shoulder to right knee, reaching forehead to ground, bring your arms high behind you to open up your shoulders. Breathe here. 
Okay, let's drop our hands to the mat, come onto our back toes, step feet together for forward fold. Let's make our way to flat back, hands to shins, crown stretched away from tailbone, shoulders dropped. Bring your hands to heart centre in prayer. Let's come into warrior three. Lift that right leg, extending back the way. You want your weight evenly distributed between leg and upper body. Breathe here. And then let's drop our hands, lunge that right leg back, plant the hands, come back to plank, lowering ourselves down, elbows in, scoop up, release chest to ground. And let's roll over onto our back. Coming into tabletop and then we'll be trying reverse plank if that feels good. So hands and feet planted, knees bent, let's push our hips high. Stay here if this feels like enough. If you want more, then extend your legs, point your toes, breathe here. You've got this. Push your hips high. One more breath. Okay, release your bum down to the ground. And let's do a variation of boat pose. So staying on your bum, bring your legs up, bend to the knee, arms come forward, palms facing up, try and maintain a long, tall back, and let's kick one leg at a time. Breathe into it. We are strong. Couple more. And let's release our hands and feet to the ground. Lower our spines all the way back. Pull your knees in for a tight squeeze. And let's do a spinal twist. So, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, let your legs fall to one side. Let's bring our arms wide in cactus or extended. Try and have both shoulders planted on the ground. If you need a bit more, bring that top knee over. Use your hand to help you, reaching the knee to the ground. One more breath here. Okay, let's inhale to bring your knees back to centre. Exhale to release the other way. Pulling that top knee over if it feels good, wherever you are, both shoulders planted. Relax. I can always really feel it in my lower back here. A really big opening. So good for our digestive system. Okay, breathing in back to centre. Let's make our way up to lunge to do the other side. So rock yourself up, cross your legs, plant your hands, come back, tabletop. And this time we're lunging our left leg forward, lifting that back knee, coming to a lunge. Let's plant that back foot at a 45 degree angle, inhale and sweep up, coming to warrior one. Feel those hips opening, belly button forward, sink into that front knee. Now let's bring our hands behind us, interlacing the fingers. Humble warrior, pull your shoulders back, dive forward, left shoulder to left knee. Bring your arms high, opening your shoulders. One more breath. Okay, let's plant those hands, come onto our toes, step forward for forward fold. Inhale for flat back, bringing hands to shins, shoulders away from ears, crown long, tailbone pulls back. Bring our hands to heart centre in prayer. Warrior three, left leg, let's extend it back the way. Feel strong in your right leg, breathe into it. Relax your shoulders down your back. One more breath. Okay, let's drop our hands. Drop the left foot to the floor, coming into a lunge. Plant those hands, push back for plank. Lower yourself down, keep elbows tucked. Scoop up for cobra. Feel your front opening, lower your chest, and make your way onto your back. 
for reverse tabletop or plank. So bend at the knee, hands and feet planted, push your hips high, extend those legs if it feels good, point the toes to touch the ground if you can, push your hips high, breathe here, you've got this, one more breath, okay let's release our bums to the ground, bring legs high, bend to the knee, extend your arms, straight back, tall crown, palms facing to the ceiling, let's kick our legs, breathe through it, it's okay if you're a bit shaky, keep going, one more breath, okay let's release our hands and feet, let's fall back onto our spines, pulling our legs in, tight squeeze and let's do the twist again, so inhale, as you exhale let your knees fall to one side, bring your arms wide, let your shoulders get comfortable on the floor and pull that top knee over if you want a bit more of a twist. Breathe here, close your eyes. Let's inhale to help our knees come back to centre, exhale to let them drop to the other side. Make sure to get comfortable and then settle. inhale bring knees back to centre and let's make our way to wind down and stretch out our bodies so rock up sweep your legs behind you coming onto our stomachs we're going to do pole pose so here we're really stretching out the front of our body so let's bend our knees and let's try and reach back to hold the outside of our feet so the pinky toe side of our feet Trying to keep your knees closer together, lift your thighs, lift your chest and pull your shoulders back. Really push into your hands with the front of your feet to stretch yourself open. Breathe here. Oh. Pull your shoulders back, squeeze the glutes and release. Oh. And let's make our way up to tabletop for cat and cow, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, dip the belly button, lift the tailbone and the crown, exhale, push the belly button to the ceiling, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin and reverse. Let's just do this a few more times following your own breath. is just to give our stomachs a nice stretch at the end of the class. Okay, let's come to neutral and let's make our way to a seated wide leg fold. So bringing our legs wide, we're going to do some side stretches. So left arm comes down left leg, let's reach our right arm over belly button facing forward, try and open up by pulling that top shoulder back, feel your ribs and your lower back opening and let's release making your way to the other side, right hand to right leg, left arm sweeps over, reaching for the toes, pulling that top shoulder back, Exhale and release and let's just come to a comfortable seated position. 
With our hands on our knees, palms facing up, let's close our eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose, feel it come into the centre of our bodies and exhale through the mouth. Let your shoulders drop away from your ears, feel the strength that you've built, envision a fire, a ball of fire in your solar plexus. And let's take a few breaths to really focus on it. Feel so you're breathing into that area, breathing right into your core. And exhale, a big sigh, letting out all the negativity. In through the nose, exhale, a big sigh. Let's do one more. Inhale. Let's bring our hands to heart centre. Namaste. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. That's a tough one on the core. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you feel a lot more assertive and confident and independent and like you can boss the rest of your week, your day, your month, your year. Subscribe, like and comment and let me know how you got on. I, I love to hear from you guys as I always say. And of course check me out on Instagram and Facebook where there's all the information you need on live classes, updates on YouTube releases. Lots of love, have an amazing day.